Benz, drug dealer train, red jag rim shining. Four shooters riding in the trucks right behind. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button. All right, subscribe to my channel. Join this Fist Unit army and get Fist Unit tough. Also, need you to follow me on Twitter. We are 100 Twitter followers away from me hosting Twitter spaces and being able to talk to you all one on one. That's going to be my version of a call in show when I host these Twitter spaces. So follow me on Twitter at Bully Fisk. Get your boy to a thousand and let's start streaming together. You feel me? With that being said, we got breakdown is Brian Flores news. All right, so. CBS has reported from Jeff Kerr has reported that Brian Flores is the favorite to be named the Giants head coach. Now, before I get into that, Adam Peters will also be doing a face to face in person interview for the Giants GM job on Thursday. It's all falling into place. It's all falling into place. Okay, Fisk Vegas, Big Fisk himself, has an infinity gauntlet. Okay? And the stones that I need are Peters, Watson, and Flores. Once I get them stones, I'm snapping the funk off of this franchise away forever. I'm snapping the losing, the dysfunction, the embarrassment, the memes on Twitter. I'm going to snap the motherfuckers in the dust. You understand me? When we get Peters at the gym, when we get Flores at the coach, and we get Watson as our freaking quarterback, we will be a laughing stock no more. We will be Super Bowl contenders. It's all falling into place. Now back to CBS. So CBS has Brian Flores as the favorites to land in New York. Now, where the smoke this fire, we've been hearing for a week now that Brian Flores' preferred destination is the New York Giants. Okay, not only that, he is a Belichick, probably the best Belichick disciple because Mike Vrabel doesn't count because Mike Vrabel never actually coached under Bill Belichick. So the most successful Belichick coach might be it's between Bill O'Brien and Mike Flores. Those are the only two that work. Okay, on top of that, he's from Brooklyn. On top of that, Brian Flores. Guess who he likes? Patrick Graham. Guess who the New York Giants like? Patrick Graham. Who's probably going to stay with the Giants organization if we bring on Brian Flores? Patrick Graham. You know what that means? That also means that we're not going to tear this defense down to the ground and restart. Okay, so that means we keep our defense intact. John Merrick keeps some familiarity. And on top of that, he's a Patriot assistant. You know what the Giants have in that building? It may not always manifest on the field, but you know what those players are used to? All the new players that have come into the Giants, all the Giants veterans, whatever's left of them, you know what they're used to? The Patriot way, because that's all Joe Judge preached. So you bring in Flores, we don't got to change the culture. Flores is everything Joe Judge wanted to be, okay? That's what Flores is. So we keep the culture, which was fine in the locker room. You know, here's the thing, Giants fans. Everybody has, you know, selective memory. Going into the season, you know, during the offseason, I'm talking when we were re recruiting free agents, when we were recruiting free agents, when we were going on trips together during the uh, training camp, when the Giants were, you know, doing OTAs, hanging out and shit. The Giants have one of the best coaches in the league. Everybody applauded Joe Judge's culture. Every player came out and said, yo, this is like being on a college team. We love the culture. We really buy into it. All this other stuff, right? So now, how come when we start losing, everybody want to show them the culture? Nah, you can't have it both ways. Joe Judge was in over his head. He didn't produce on the field. That doesn't mean the things that he did behind the scenes didn't work. That didn't mean... 
that his culture didn't work. Kenny Galladay had zero touchdowns. Not once did he throw anybody under the bus. Saquon Barkley had the worst year of his career. Not once did he go and throw go Tiki Barber and start shitting on teammates. This dude, Kadarius Tony, did not go full-blown Odell Beckham and start being a head case. No, he kept everybody together. Logan Ryan, through the losing, bought into the culture. Bradbury, Leonard Williams, throughout all the losing, the culture stayed intact. So if John Mara loved Joe Judge, he's going to fall in love with Flores. It's a done deal. Okay? Him and Adam Peters were both scouts on the Patriots for the first three Super Bowls. Peters got his start in New England under Belichick, recruiting those, recruiting those good players. The Asante Samuels, the Richard Seymours of the world, the Wes Welkers. He, he was part of that. Okay, he was part of those transactions. He was part of those draft classes. He was there. The Vince Wilforks. Yeah, he was he scouted those guys. He was part of the Broncos Super Bowl team. You know, the guy who, who helped out with the Von Millers, the guy who helped out with the Demarius Thomases of the world, the Chris Harris's. Yeah, he was part of that. You know those goons that you see playing on the 49ers right now? The Debo Samuels of the world? The Brandon Ayukes of the world? Yeah, he was part of that. That's who we want as our GM. Not some guy from Buffalo who's going to bring in Brian Dable and, and pray to God he could turn Daniel Jones into Josh Allen. A lot of you guys want to get this, this showing guy or sheen guy, whatever, however you pronounce his name. You want to hire him so y'all can get Brian Dable. Last I checked, y'all don't even want Daniel Jones. Most of y'all want to draft Kenny Pickett or Malik, Mill, or Malik Willis. I could be wrong about that, but from, from what I read in my comment section, y'all don't even like Daniel Jones. So why would you want to bring in a general manager who's going to be, who's going to bring in a first-time head coach who's never proven anything and hope he fixes Daniel Jones? Why would you want to do that instead of win now with Deshaun Watson? Because this is what's going on. Giants fans, this is what's going on right now. The battle between Peters and Showing is the battle between Daniel Jones and Deshaun Watson. Because if they bring in the Buffalo guy, they're going to bring in Dable and they're going to stick with Daniel Jones. If they bring in Peters, they're going to bring in Flores and they're going to go get Watson. That's what's at stake right now. This is not GM versus GM. This isn't head coach versus head coach. This is Daniel Jones versus Deshaun Watson. That's, what's, that, that's what this is. This is Daniel Jones versus Deshaun Watson. I am the biggest Daniel Jones supporter on planet Earth. If we have a chance to get Deshaun Watson, we got to send his ass to Houston, New Orleans, Pittsburgh, whoever want Daniel Jones, you can have second round pick fly it in okay but you can't sit here and make the same mistakes over and over and over again the giants by hiring the buffalo regime you're basically doing the same thing you did with joe judge you're doing the same thing you did with mcadoo you're doing the same exact shit that you did with pat Shermer. No more, no more inexperienced offensive people need to come into this organization. McAdoo, first time head coach, didn't work. Shermer only spent a year in Cleveland. He might as well have been a first time offensive head coach. It didn't work. Joe Judge, first time head coach. It didn't work. Go get Brian Flores. Go get Deshaun. Get this guy Peters, who's been a part of multiple Super Bowl teams on multiple franchises. And let's win now we get to sean watson we are the best team in the nfc east by default we bring in brian flores he's the best head coach in the nfc by a mile this dude ron rivera hasn't had a winning season since 2017 but mike mccarthy police nick sirianni police giants fans hear me listen to my voice feel my pain Feel the agony in my voice when I beg for this to happen. If we get Flores and Deshaun Watson, we are running the East for a decade. Desha Bro, Dak is stuck in Dallas indefinitely. 
This dude, Jalen Hurts' best pass may have been to Tom Brady on Sunday. In freaking Washington, don't even have a quarterback. They, they're talking about Jimmy G. Uh, Washington fans are talking about bringing in Jimmy G. That's where they are. Giants fans, hear me. <laughs> we need to form like Voltron and make this happen. We need to speak this into existence. The way we spoke getting Joe Judge out of this bitch. We need to speak this into existence. Flores, Watson, we run shit. Bottom line. I ain't got nothing to say. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.